In the 1600s, European companies and governments had a great racket going. They'd set up a colony in another, less developed part of the world, trade for or take valuable goods, and send them back to the mother country, making a huge profit. But pirates, bad weather, or poor navigation could cause an expedition to lose everything. To offset these losses, ship owners would find investors to help pay for the cost of the voyage. If the ship returned, everyone would get a share of the profits. To help increase their chances of success, many investors would invest in several ships at once. That way they'd spread their risk, hoping for a big payday if at least one ship made it back. Soon the Dutch East India Company took this concept to the next level. Instead of basing investment on a ship-by-ship -ship basis, they began to sell shares of stock in their company. Investments were now spread across the entire fleet of ships. By selling shares of stock, the Dutch East India Company raised lots of extra cash to invest in more expeditions to get more stuff from the colonies and make more profit. Now as the value of these shares increased, investors could either hold on to them and collect dividends, or sell them to other investors for a profit. While these exchanges of stock weren't part of an official organization, the basis for the first major stock market was created.